Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. I wanted to share some of uh, the little projects I've worked on the last couple of days. Um, kind of um, not working on journals right now. I'm working on things to put in journals. And you know, um, if you saw my last video, I showed you how to create these trifold. Um, they fold out. In different ways, these trifold um, uh, inserts or floaters or however you want to use them for your journals um, out of a uh, invitation. So these are uh, thrift store invitation, um, and then these are all the ones I created. So if you haven't seen that one. Um, this is all Artie Mays here. Uh, if you haven't seen that one, I'll link that below. And so I, we made these. So those are ready uh, to go into journals. Now, um, I also wanted to tell you, before I show you all of this other stuff, um, I am running a late spring sale in my Etsy shop. So if you, uh, I have four journals in there. Um, and I don't think I've ever had four journals in there at one time. So if you're looking to buy one of my journals, they're all on sale right now. The only one that's not going to be on sale are the two that um, I'm going to be putting in sometime. Well, one today, and then I'm going to be doing a tutorial on another one. And these are those are going to be two open spine journals, and I will list those. And those those will not be on sale. But the four that are in there now are all 20% off plus free shipping and uh it comes up to a sizable um a sizable reduction uh because some of those are the, a couple of them are very expensive journals so you take 20 percent off and it brings them way down plus the free shipping and everybody knows shipping is uh i do free priority shipping and it's just a fortune today so you don't have to pay the shipping i will pay the shipping now i wanted to show you some fun things that i've, I've done now, I don't know if any of you guys play bridge, but I, I picked these up, oh, a few years ago at Rube, at um, Tuesday mornings. And these are just little bridge cards. And these are from my, M Michelle Design Works. And um, you've all seen the napkins and all the stuff from that company. They're, they're beautiful. So I decided to make some little booklets and out of them. So I have a variety of these here, and I just used little sorry. Um, so these are, this is such a good way to use up your scraps of papers. And you can see all I did was punch a hole here and punch a hole here. So I clipped, what I did is I put the papers into size, and then I just clipped them. I took my hole punch and punched here and here, and then I just ran the sari through it and tied it on the outside. Now, these are ready for me to do a little decorating on <clears throat> to go with the projects. So if you see these little bridge card, you know, whatever's in the thrift stores or whatever, how fun will these be as little booklets um, in your journal? So I made a big stack of them with all different colors. Sorry, I got my sorry in and I'm thrilled. Um, if you guys are interested in where I buy my sorry from, uh, it's nice wide sorry. And what I've done is I, I cut it in half. This is actually muslin trim here. I trim it in, in half or thirds to get the thinner ribbon, and then you can iron it, and it'll be like this wide. The best shop in quick shipping, Etsy shop. So um, I will, I'll list that below too. And then I did, I had all kinds of other scrap papers, and I'm like, I'm just gonna make some scrappy tablets. How easy are these? And I did it the same way where I put the pages in, and just did the holes and ran through it so I can decorate the outside of this. So this will go in a botanical journal. Then I did some very simple scrappy scraps where I just uh, put them together and um, did the... So these all have the, the sari on it. So there's that one. There's this one with all sorts of different cutoff papers in it. 
just fun to pop in your journal. And then I did just the staple. So two staples. A row, these are like rose gold staples. I added a little fun stuff on the top of that one, a little stamp there. So I made those. Okay, so I have a little assortment of those. And then I just... Uh, just did a brad in this one so you can remove the brad and you know or just makes it easier to write in so then i had these fun little i, I pulled these out of my stash and i don't know if you can see the back of these these were craft um cardstock tabs or um yeah tags rather and they came like that and i don't know where i got them i'm like i gotta do something with these so i'm just gonna keep them on here and i just did some mini little collage tags and made them into paper clips so these are all ready for me to make sure you can see these um so I pulled out my scraps and did some collage and some vintage music and different things. So I made a bunch of these. So these are ready to go. Um, and I think they were really cute uh, with a little metal grommet and just adding some little trims, little leftover trims and stuff. So, and you, or you can make your own little tags. And these are real simple to do. So, um, Basically, just layered up the tag, you know, did a little metal grommet in the top, in the middle, and then uh, printed out some of this paper. Well, I didn't print it because I had it in my stash, and then just slipped the paper clip in between and then took that back paper and just glued it all down. So... Uh, I have a lot of different tutorials on paper clips, so if you haven't seen those, look through my channel. I've got lots of paper, altered paper clips. So I did that, and that's what I've been busy working on. So I'm going to be uploading this video, and then you're going to see one right after it that I've already uploaded of our upcoming project. And then tomorrow the project will be up. So, okay guys, um, just wanted to pop in and just show you what I've been working on. So have a blessed day and a great weekend. Bye-bye.